Hey Aries, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Uh, this is going to be your love reading for the end of July 2022 for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Be mindful, some of the messages, messages may not resonate. So just take what fits, leave the rest. And just so you guys know, in August, I am going to start this daily collective love reading, and it's going to be awesome. I'm going to give you a love reading every single day here on my channel. So you'll be able to tune in each day, uh, chock full of charms and uh, some new dice, all kinds of cool stuff. And um, it's going to be a live stream as well. And at the end, I will implement more specific if you're dealing with any particular zodiac and, and what the messages are for there. Okay, so let's get into your reading, Aries. Let's see what the love messages are for Aries for the end of July 15 through the 31st end of July okay well you've got mask someone's not showing true feelings hiding their personality pretending possibly even gaslighting okay somebody's wearing a false mask the Phoenix but there's a new phase and there's a rekindling transformation growth and it's somebody's having a changed mind not dealing with a mask okay and you have palm tree stability security performance growth not performance permanence endurance and flexibility everything that sh and maybe like a, a lovely bunch of coconuts too so let's take a look here see what's going on what is this energy here what does Aries need to know because there's somebody here oh they just said somebody's taking off their mask and becoming more stable wow Aries somebody that maybe you've been talking to who has some maybe some narcissistic traits not a full-blown um, but somebody who hides behind a mask of insecurity um, or hides behind a mask of confidence. Okay, Six of Cups is here. So there's a reconciliation taking place coming up here with someone. Now this could be a lover, a friend, family member, whatever it might be. But there's a rekindling of a, of a relationship. Somebody's having some growth and um, changing taking the mask off okay wow could be a family member or someone that you're in a committed relationship or going back reconciling with someone a reunion these are two reunion cards okay reconciling with someone Aries getting married um, reframing a relationship let's see community family an engagement wedding uh, some type of maybe a baby shower or a child's birthday um, connecting with someone where it could be a masquerade party for some or children um, wearing masks or having fun let me see somebody's going to a circus reconnecting taking children somewhere reconnecting with your own children as well uh, somebody might be visiting an area where there's palm trees for some type of an event okay let's see all right four of pentacles okay so as far as like a relationship goes this is a long successful long-term commitment coming here so you know aries it looks like there's somebody here who's been just maybe both of you were masking with each other or somebody just maybe not showing their true feelings gaslighting somebody saying in a sense like gaslighting is just basically lying or making you think it's deceptive energy it's making you think it's something else and what it is um, somebody here really loves you. Somebody here really, really loves you and couldn't reveal that. They couldn't tell you how they felt. Okay. But now there's like a reunion or a reconciliation, a healing with the six of cups, sincerity. There's an energy of, um, auth authenticity, like a child. Somebody, you know, children are so innocent and they just, they're just so natural. There's like a naturalness. Is that even a word? happening here in some type of reunion or connection okay there's change there's definitely like there's a new phase of growth happening here okay for you with another person wow three of pentacles Whew, this is like my gosh it feels like somebody's coming in here to say um i want to learn how to be a better person i want to learn how to be a better person for you at three of pentacles like somebody you're getting a letter somebody's writing something to you 
Um, and like, it's like a long, like they're thinking about what to say to you. Like they're sitting in a school. <laughs> um, they're sitting at a desk. Maybe it's at a library or some place and writing you this long letter um, telling you how they feel. Um, somebody saying, I've been wearing this mask this whole time. Uh, I've been hiding my feelings for you, my true feelings. I haven't been showing them. Um, I've been pretending to be somebody that I'm not. You know, look at this. Knight of Wands. Somebody's very, like, lusting after you. Oh, my goodness. Okay. <laughs> my goodness, cards are flipping out. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you're going somewhere with some friends, or you're traveling somewhere with some friends, um, a group of people. If you're single, you're out there dating, and somebody's coming forward. Um, out of that bunch. Okay. This feels like a separate storyline. Oh, okay. So we have a Queen of Cups, male or female energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Hmm. It's the first court card, so this is Aries. You may have some type of connection to a water sign. They're really up in their emotions and their feelings. Um, there's some type of again, three reunion cards plus rekindling. Um, <laughs> there's a get together happening here. There's a, you get some kind of letter. Uh, you share it maybe with some friends, or you tell some people. Maybe you keep it to yourself. You share this thing, and there's just a rekindling of love. There might be like, if you're already married and things have been dull, there for some of you, there may be a wedding that kind of inspires both of you to fall in love again. For others, it could be a renewal of vows if you, if you do that kind of thing. But it's a very beautiful. Somebody here, very supportive and, and really, truly has deep feelings for you, Aries. <laughs> Okay. Oh, wow. I've got a Queen of Pentacles as well. Interesting. What's this all about? Okay, for others, it could also be an Earth sign. Um, You have two people who are coming towards you. Now, these could be friends, sisters uh, you're getting together with. Okay. And these could be people showing up if you're dating as well. Um, some of you are getting... a. Um, hiring um, a real estate agent maybe you're moving um, or somebody's doing that there might be relocation or traveling going to look at look at a property or some place if you go somewhere okay crazy energy some of you going to phoenix arizona or you're in arizona and you're going to a different place do they have palm trees in arizona i don't know or some, somewhere out on the west coast there might be a trip that you're going to Okay, <laughs> that you're going for something or you're going somewhere, Aries. Oh, you've got the lovers. Yeah, it could be a wedding. Um, but this is definitely love, like sparking of love. <clears throat> True feeling. Someone's making a decision to express themselves fully here to you, Aries. Wow. Okay, now you have the Queen of Wands. Oh, my goodness. You may have a friend who's getting married. Or there's something going on with a friend. But even if you go to some kind of reunion or you connect with someone, someone's coming forward to tell you how they truly feel about you and that they've been hiding it for years. This may just be flattery coming to you. You may not be interested in this person. You might be. This could be someone that you knew a long time ago from a childhood or family place. <clears throat> you see each other again and there's like this love spark that happens here. A love spark that happens here of some sort okay are you going to decide you might you might decide to connect with this person in a very romantic way um you might not decide it really depends i mean if you're happy with someone and that's where you are or it's just the two of you are like oh we're going to get married um maybe you're just dating or you're in a long-term relationship we're going to get married now or we're going to you might be like taken off somewhere to the west coast to do that okay very soon yep yeah, a decision's getting made clearly decide what you, somebody somebody is deciding what they want so that it will come to them now i would say keep your eyes out for an email or a letter or an invitation or something coming forward getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens 
and then free yourself take control back of your life wow this feels mostly like free yourself to get to know somebody better um because whoever was hiding their feelings for you it is they are absolutely coming out i don't know that it's going to be shocking for you i don't know i mean it's definitely going to be transforming okay um uh, it's going to give you a sense of like seren a, a sense of uh, they said serenity a sense of peace i guess to some degree let me see abundance okay you've done some type of work and everything is flowing towards you now okay you've got strict strictly sexual so for some of you you might already be you know um in a relationship with someone and this person who's coming toward you you know i mean they're very passionate okay but it may not be something sorry you guys i had a little cough there it may not be something that's enduring although endurance is here so <clears throat> hmm, that's conflicting I think you need to like I think these are two different messages really if you're already involved with someone and you're not trying to have anything with somebody else um, then you might just need to keep it moving here um, and <clears throat> for others you know like this if, if you're already involved with someone and somebody else coming for it it might just be like this person will settle for even a passionate connection. Maybe they have a crush on you or something like that. Are they lusting after you? Um, and for those of you who aren't um, involved with anybody else, I mean, if somebody's lusting after you, I mean, hey, that's... Look at you, Aries. I mean, come on. <laughs> yep, somebody lo but somebody loves you unconditionally here. And the lust, too. It's all... It's the whole package. It's like everything. Oh my goodness, Aries. Okay, I'm going to leave that quick message there for you. Enjoy the next two weeks, and I will see you guys very soon. Take care. Bye.